Hey guys, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Now, if you've ever struggled with uh, color cast in an image, and in this particular image there's a blue color cast, and we want to get rid of that, but you've never been able to find the accurate midpoint in order to adjust the curves, let me show you in a few simple steps how you can do that. Find the midpoint, remove the color cast, and get happy with your image. Let's start that, and we'll do that right away. All right, welcome back. Okay, your image is obviously going to be different, but the technique still applies. You may have a different color cast. It doesn't matter. Obviously, the best way to remove a color cast is to shoot with a gray card, but when you don't have a gray card or you can't shoot with one, this is going to be a better way of doing it in post. All right, so let's start off by creating a blank layer. We want to go down here to the new layer icon. Click that once, and that creates a blank layer we're looking for. We essentially want to fill this with complete gray, 50% black, and that's 128 value of red, green, and blue, which is the midpoint between zero, the darkest point on the histogram, and 255, the brightest point on the histogram. So let's go ahead and go to Edit, Fill. Make sure we have 50% gray here. Normal and 100% opacity and preserve transparency. Leave that as a default as you see it here. Click OK. That filled the entire image with gray. Let's go up to the blending mode, change that to difference. So let's go down here again to the adjustment and we're going to find the threshold command. There we go. So now we want to move this little icon, this pointer, all the way to the left. And while the number is selected, we want to use the up arrow key on the keyboard. We want to click it a couple times until we start seeing a little patch of black. In this case, it's pinpointing the gray. And I kind of like this area here. This is the area at about 15 or 16 and again your image is going to be a little different so you want to find the first patch of black and that looks like it's going to be it for us so we want to hide this properties we don't need that anymore I want to zoom in here a little bit now we want to use the eyedropper so we either we hit the I key on the keyboard or we select the uh, eyedropper up here in the tools palette so now we're holding the shift key we want to Select a point here in the black. That's going to select us the point sample that we want to uh, get and use in a minute here. So we'll hide these two layers since we don't need them anymore. Now let's create a curves adjustment. We'll go up here. And you can create curves adjustments either by using this command up here or going down here. Either way it gets the same results. So we'll click that once. want to go to the mid point here and that's the mid eye dropper and that's the uh, low dropper and the high dropper we want to find the mid dropper now we want to kind of zoom in a little bit and get a little better closer look at that all right go back to the eye dropper now what we want to do is be a little bit more selective and we use the uh, caps lock key and that changes the pointer to this little uh, target and we want to find that exact same spot click that once oops sorry select the uh, middle point there Click that area once, and you can see how drastically in this little area that changed the tone range right there. You can see already the blue cast is removed, and you can see here how it removed the, the blue from it, added a little red and a little green. That sure beats guessing. Let's zoom out. And you can see already the big difference that quick adjustment made. Now let's, just by comparison, we'll create a mask here and fill that with black and there you go you can see how quickly those few steps made that big of a difference in this image so I hope you took something from it I hope you enjoyed this there will be another tutorial next Tuesday every Tuesday I'll put out a new tutorial we'll call that tutorial Tuesday so join me on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash 954 photos or join me on my website and take a look at some of my own work at 954photos.com. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave some comments if you have any questions, anything in the comments field below. Subscribe to my page and we'll talk to you soon.